Well, guten tag, y'all. So, uh, this is gonna be my last full day in Berlin. Uh, I've got a like kind of a late train ride tomorrow uh, going to the next country, but uh, Berlin has almost 200 museums. Uh, and one of the coolest places is Museum Island. That's where I'm walking to right now. Um, and there are five museums, about to be six next year in 2019. Uh, there's the Bodum Museum, then there's the old National Gallery, there's the old museum, the new museum, and I'll be going to the new museum later, and then there's also uh, the Pergamon, and that's where I'm going now, and the Pergamon has a bunch of stuff from uh, kind of Syria, Saudi Arabia, the Middle East, stuff like that, so yeah, it should be really cool. They have something called the Ishtar Gate as well, and the Ishtar Gate is just is supposed to be this beautiful thing from Nebuchadnezzar. Um, it's supposed to just be this blue. I, I don't want to ruin it. Y'all just stay tuned and check it out and watch it. Uh, should be a lot of fun. So I'm only going to two of the museums. I think you can hit three in a day uh, if you kind of kind of move around quick enough. But I uh, got a late start and going to have to get lunch after this. Uh, already a little hungry because I skipped breakfast. But let's get started. Let's get to Museum Island. Wow, y'all, so that was so cool, the Pergamon Museum. Um, yeah, like, I'd seen some pictures online of the Ishtar Gate, totally blew my mind. Uh, it's just beautiful, and to see how it was just painstakingly reconstructed uh, all the way from Turkey, I believe it was. But yeah, it's kind of a bummer, uh, like about 80%, I think, of the museum is under construction, or they're updating stuff, so I couldn't get everywhere. Uh, I was only in there for about two hours. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna go get some lunch really quick and then walk back over to the island and go to the new museum And this is gonna be where like all the Egyptian stuff is uh, Apparently this museum got heavily bombed during World War II. It was pretty much in ruins all the way up until like uh, Way after the World War II had ended it may have even been after the reunification of Germany and now it's been uh, completely re rehabbed and rebuilt up by a famous architect. Uh, I think his name was David Chippendale, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll learn more. But uh, yeah, he did, he's done amazing things. Apparently it's like one of the best museums in, the, in all of Europe. So super excited, we're gonna go in there and there's just supposed to be some beautiful Egyptian artifacts. So 
and a big bust of Nefertiti, which is very famous. I'm sure once I show it to y'all, y'all will know what I'm talking about, but time to go get some lunch and then get back to you guys. So that was Berlin, that was Museum Island. Um, yeah, so much great stuff, that Ishtar Gate. That was my favorite thing. Uh, there's so much to see on that island too. So, I mean, you could definitely do two days there. Uh, kind of bummed I don't have another day to spend there and go see the rest of it, uh, especially some of the artwork that I know I missed. Uh, definitely, it's something everybody should check out. And right across the river, there's this cool little park. Uh, there were some musicians performing. It looked like some bars and cafes. Uh, didn't check it out, but it looked like a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's uh, another day of adventure in the books. Uh, more history learned. And yeah, it's just ever expanding knowledge about the world. That's what I love about this trip. But there's always something more to see the next day. So I'm gonna leave y'all here and we're gonna be continue exploring as always tomorrow. So stay, stick around, stay with me.